done on making it to 2017 and hasn't the world changed enormously? It's absolutely extraordinary. I was actually the global head of uh, mobile engineering for HSBC Bank, so I looked after one of the largest smartphone and tablet estates in the world, arguably. So about 70,000 smartphones, 3,000 tablets in 70 countries. So uh, most of the complexities and challenges that you will see with mobile, I've generally had that headache at some point in the past. Uh, and indeed done that in one of the, as mentioned earlier by City, you know, one of the most highly regulated environments. One of the things that we've seen with mobile is that uh, it cuts across all of the traditional technology silos in your organization. And indeed, uh, even in, in the security side of the organization, it, it's one of those endpoints it can do just about anything. So uh, it's very hard to pigeonhole quite often. Um, when you take traditional security controls to mobile, you are generally in charge of a very blunt set of instruments. Um, so if you talk about device management, locking it down, turning it into a brick, um, if you do that, it's certainly possible to do, but clearly you kind of throw away the magic at the same time in that um, if it's really just turning, for example, an iPad into a giant Blackberry that all you can do is your corporate email on it, then you've kind of missed the point with mobile. Mobile is all about the opportunity of the various applications that run on it and the fact that they are very easy to deploy, very easy to get out there. But ultimately, you need to police those apps, you need to stay on top of that. One of the key problems that we see with all of this is the authentication into Office 365. So the, the crucial thing about Office uh, and, and Microsoft in general is ultimately it all comes down to the identity. So you need to know your AD password. Your AD password synchronizes with the cloud. You enter your password on all these different devices. That's a problem. Two-factor auth, there's nothing fundamentally wrong with the idea behind it. Um, it's just that when you get into the realities of deploying it, you end up with a number of fails, as we call them. So um, hard tokens. So I remember being responsible for a massive deployment of hard tokens that I then had to redeploy every single hard token because RSA lost the keys. Um, that was not a fun day at the office. Um, but the user experience of a hard token is actually pretty painful. It's like, I need to log in. Where's my token? Where's my key fob? Have I got it with me? Probably not. If you're on a mobile device, it's the most awful login experience you'll ever come across. For us, we do believe that two-factor authentication on its own is not enough anymore. And I think this is true whether you're looking at the perimeter of your network or whether you're looking at cloud services going forwards. This multi-factored authentication is, is ultimately the way to move forward. It's going to stop more bad people by default. You know, you're talking about hackers gaining access to your servers. Well, if they've never even got a login prompt, then you're a heck of a lot better off than uh, you know, them trying to even inject multiple passwords on multiple occasions. It's actually better for genuine people. But crucially, you can actually start to say, right, I've got my existing uh, technology. I've got the new cloud services coming on. I can actually have everything authenticating in the same way so that you get a consistent login experience across everything. And crucially as well, if you're logged into the first piece, then why would you be challenged to log in again? It, it gives you that kind of single sign-on capability almost by design. It's built in. But, but for us, one of the key things and the reasons why we're so excited about this is because it's actually built around mobile devices in mind. It's designed to optimize the mobile login experience as well. It's designed to build on the sensors that are on the mobile device as, uh, if you like, data inputs to your validation process. So do you want to do something with the thumbprint, for example? Well, you can. And that could even be something where uh, you want to log in through a browser to a full fat session but you can use the mobile and the thumbprint on that mobile as part of the, the authentication experience. 
And so uh, hopefully that's a useful introduction to the world of multi-factor auth and why we feel this is definitely a step forward from the traditional way of authenticating. Um, for Mobility, you know, this is ultimately what we're all about. Uh, we deliver mobility and cloud security. We can do that as a service to the enterprise. Uh, come over and see us in the corner. Thank you.